げたらしい。Black diamond, or coal, is the bad boy of nature, which in its crude form has helped humanity since the age of industrialization. It's been more than hundred years that humanity has mined coal for various developments, and of course improved our way of living on many fronts. It is also the reason for twenty-five percent. Of total global greenhouse gas emissions. While the UN and Paris Agreement is working closely with all nations to strive and reduce the consumption of coal by 50 percent, it is still mined extensively in China, India, Australia, Indonesia, and other countries. Curiosity to learn every day, and experiencing it as I go, has always led me towards exploration. I am Krishna, and today I will introduce you to the life of a coal miner in the world of black diamond under our feet. Dark, stuffy, sweaty, and lonely. These are the first feelings that take over our minds when we slide down a coal mine. I recently had an opportunity to visit a coal mine in India. For security reasons, I will refrain from naming the location, but this should not let you down. The world below is mind-blowing and is entirely different from what we experience above. The buzzing portico filled with workers as they prepare themselves to get ready and to start their day. Every miner's lifeline under the crust is a cap lamp. Which is a heavy-duty torch with a lifeline of eight hours before it requires a recharge. A water bottle, a miner's boots, and the heart of a warrior. A miner's life is not less than a battle in the dark world down below. The noisy and wet lift took me to the depth of 160 feet before the long walk begins. It is rough out there and dark. Some miners are well lit and ventilated, but not all. I accompanied a miner named Raju. I have changed the name here for his protection. We started our walk with our cap lamp brightly lit to view approximately 400 feet from where we stood. The mine is equipped with trolley tracks to transport the coal from the blast site. Walking down the dark path. I listened to the stories of how brotherhood is maintained. Let me be frank. Down here, there is no communications network for us to access the internet and to connect to our social world. The importance primarily is given to the basic needs like light for sight, air to breathe, and water to drink. Along the way, we came across a lot of underwater streams. Usually exploited via bore wells from above. During the mining process, these streams get contaminated and are not readily drinkable. Hence, the water bottles. The length of the mine is staggering four kilometers. The walk certainly redefined a few thoughts of mine. A typical mining day starts with identifying the area to mine, prepare and dig. Holes for ammunition, load ammunition, and kaboom. Post the blast, clear the debris, which is raw coal, onto a conveyor belt or the trolleys, and transport them to the surface for distribution to big companies to generate electricity, iron, and steel making industries, where they burn coal in large quantities every day. Life down below is not an easy one. The humidity is always at its peak, draining your energy, 
the air you breathe contains coal dust and the loneliness affecting the mines is for sure a war every time a miner sets his foot they have no chance to see daylight until they step out of the mine at the end of their work shift it is without question one of the gruesome dirty jobs with fewer benefits in a typical work shift a coal miner spends around 7 to 8 hours with regular rest as it is hard to work efficiently under unforgiving working conditions while walking the downward gradient in the mine i stopped and asked my guide raju to switch off his cap lamp and i did turn off mine too it was a test and to experience darkness you get a feeling of deep space in there pitch dark where stars are nothing but black diamond everywhere and gravity holds everything tight it was impossible to see my hand when placed in front of my face just an inch apart truly amazing the darkness and the silence of the earth inundate the million thoughts and issues that we face on the surface mental well-being and motivating each other become key in these circumstances There is no comparison to the corporate world. The miners maintain energy levels by talking loud, singing, making fun of each other. These small gestures of sound enable a strong bond between workers and help them get through the day together in the darkness. It is sound that rules and not the element of light when it comes to the team bonding. even enemies on the surface become best friends in the mind as they need to take care of each other and live in the brotherhood community in a way darkness breaks the barriers of hate jealousy anger and brings all the workers together and looks after each other you may ask is brotherhood necessary many things can go wrong when working in the mind and they change lives in a fraction of a second the roof may collapse there may be loss of breathing air the cap lamps may switch off without warning dealing with explosives in the mine requires skill and integrity there is no discrimination in age group every person is the same and they all look after each other this behavior also reflects when they end the day and reach the surface There are times miners work during the day and come out during the night. They do not have access to sunlight for few weeks at a stretch. The coal dust from the mine and near the blast site is super fine and can cause breathing or lung problems with constant exposure. Some values that every miner imbibes. Motivating self and the community is imperative. Coal fires underground are always a risk. Being alert and cautious is a must at every second that they spend in the mine. Integrity is a quality that every miner lives with when working in the mine. I have learned a lot from this exploration and the gratitude towards the coal miners has immensely increased. I hope this journey with me was a rich experience for you. and i will look forward to sharing more in my upcoming videos if you like this video to subscribe and let's share experiences sayonara